Welcome to Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking brings you the Gulf Coast's finest chefs cooking their delicious recipes with all natural gas. This show is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, clean, efficient, natural gas. And now, Coastal Cooking. It is my pleasure to introduce Chef Edwin Vega from Redfish Bluefish on Pensacola Beach. Welcome. Hey, how are you today? Doing great. And I am so excited because you're going to be sharing three of your most popular dishes at yes, Redfish that's right. Bluefish. That's right. Tell us what they are. Uh, the first one we're going to do is a banging shrimp. It's an appetizer, fried shrimp tossed in a sweet, spicy remoulade on top of a slaw. The second one we're going to do is a yum fish dinner. It's going to be served over some rice and asparagus spinach and a sun-dried basil tomato cream sauce. And our last one is a play on a dessert. It's a French toast flotta oh. served with some honey butter. So All right, I'm glad we be got fun dessert too. Excited. We've got a whole meal today. Absolutely, absolutely. Sounds great. Okay, we'll get started with our appetizer first. Absolutely, so the first thing we're gonna do is make the slaw. I'll use this bowl right here. Mm -hmm. So, <clears throat> shredded cabbage. I already shredded it mm -hmm. to add a little quickness to this. Some carrots, shredded them earlier too, add a little color. Let's see what else I got here. Some mint, I already picked. I'm just gonna chop all this up real quick. And this is just gonna be a rough chop. It doesn't have to be sure. even or anything. Mint in slaw, this is gonna it be is. special. It's gonna be fresh, vibrant. It's gonna have some color to it. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be good. Put that over there. Oh, there's nothing like the mint, aroma some of fresh scallions mint. In the chop up real quick. Mm -hmm. So this is probably one of several appetizers Absolutely. that you offer, isn't it? Mm -hmm. But it's the most popular, I understand. It is the most popular. I'm going to matchstick these, this cucumber real quick. Mm -hmm. And Edwin, you've been there since it opened. Since we opened, yes ma'am. About a year. That's correct. And so you've got to gotten to create a lot of these dishes I did, and you make know, this them is your our own. Updated menu. Mm -hmm. And if no one has been to Redfish Bluefish, my goodness, they are in for a treat for that first time, aren't they? They are. It's absolutely a gorgeous location. It is. It's a beautiful spot. All right, so just matchstick those up real quick. Just gonna toss this around real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, so this is ready. And then we've, this uh, has a remoulade sauce with it? Yes, it is. It's going to be a sweet and spicy kind of remoulade here. Okay. That's going to add some kick to it. Mm -hmm. So first, we're going to add a little bit of mayo. Mm -hmm. A little bit of maypoi sweet chili sauce. So it's slightly, sweet, or slightly spicy, okay. more sweet. Okay. It's going to go real well in this. And you can buy this, of course. Absolutely. You can buy it at the store, you know, the Asian store is usually where I get it. Sriracha, mm -hmm. just add a little spice to it. We're not going to go too crazy. Is this hot? It is. Sriracha's hot. Sriracha's okay. super hot. So to taste. Yeah, to taste. Kind of how Perfect. you want it. A little sambal, mm -hmm. a little garlic chili sauce to kind of oh, play off that sweetness a little bit. Look at the it flavors out. in this. Mix that up real quick. Add a little bit of salt and pepper, you know, not too much. It's mm -hmm. already got so much flavor in there with the chili and the mm -hmm. sweetness. Just to balance it out. How nice it is. It's a nice consistency too. That right here. Okay. All right, next we're gonna do is our Louisiana batter. This is what we're gonna dredge the shrimp in before we fry it. So I got a little corn flour right here. Mm -hmm. Don't use cornmeal. Use corn I had, flour. I do have cornmeal as well. Oh, cornmeal right too. Next. Okay. Both. Well, that'll make it nice. So cornmeal, a little corn flour. Mm -hmm. Now, why did you choose to use both? The texture? Texture. It sticks to it real well. Okay. When it fries, it crisps up. It's really nice. Mm -hmm. A little Old Bay just for some seasoning. Uh -huh. Not too much. We got a little cayenne right here. A little heat, a little granulated garlic. Pretty much it's just a seasoned flour. You know, we're just trying to season right. it up so it's not so bland and mm -hmm. boring when you get it. A little onion powder. A little bit of celery salt. And just, you know, a little more salt and pepper real quick. Mm -hmm. Mix that up real quick. And what size shrimp will you be using? We're going to be using 2630 shrimp. Okay. I already peeled into veined them mm -hmm. earlier to save time, of course. 
So there it is. So I got the three you know, stuff ready. I got mm -hmm. the slaw right here. I got the sweet chili sauce. Mm -hmm. And then the Louisiana batter. All right. So next. now we're ready to do it. Absolutely. Aren't we? Now it's just assembling. Mm -hmm. So what I'm going to do real quick, I'm going to grab my plate. I'm going to grab our little slaw here. Mm -hmm. Just going to sprinkle some down on the bottom of the plate. A little bit of yeah. slaw, huh? So just like that. Slide that over. Mm -hmm. So what I like to do here is wet hand wet, dry hand dry. So that way, if I use one hand, you know, it's going to get all clumpy right. on my hand. Kind of a little trick we use. Well, it makes sense, doesn't it? It really does. <laughs> so here I got some shrimp. I peeled in the band already. Mm -hmm. and we're just going to drop it in the egg mix here. Mm -hmm. So I got the shrimp in there. Just kind of toss them around a little bit. Then I'm just going to drop them right into this Louisiana batter real quick. These won't take any time to cook, will they? No, I mean, two to three minutes maybe. Not it's shrimp. so quick. Mm -hmm. Shrimp is super quick. And you've made them easy to eat. The mm -hmm. tails aren't on, mm -hmm. uh, which is usually nice for presentation, but, you know, you still have to. And you're just going to wait for these to really brown. And, mm -hmm. and then serve ready. them. Uh, toss them in that remoulade we made over there, put mm -hmm. it over the slaw. And call it a day. And just drop them right in there. Uh huh. And it's important to be careful doing that, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. And as you can tell, they're already. Look at that. You know, they're browning up super quick here. If your oil is at the right temperature, that's important too, isn't it? Absolutely. Too hot, they they're do. just going to burn. They're yeah. not going to cook enough. Right. And you don't want to overcook seafood. Absolutely so. not. That looks great. Are you going to drain these? Yes, I am. Okay. Great. So I'm just going to flip these over real quick. These are almost ready, actually. You can tell if you look at the color. It's really mm -hmm. nice. So and they're curled nicely, they too, are. aren't they? So I'm going to put them right here on this little paper towel, drain them. These are fried to perfection. These are going to be really good. All right. So I'll let them sit there for a second, get some of that oil off. Mm -hmm. Grab our remoulade here. And all we're going to do next is just put them in there, you know, toss oh, it. Oh, you put the, the shrimp mm -hmm. in here. Absolutely. Oh, okay. we're going to cut it. You know, and at work, we have a bowl and we toss it. Right. You know, we add the sauce to order. And I don't have it too made. I was thinking it'd be drizzled over it, but that's going to make it even better. So and I'll just take one, one at a time here, just drop them in there. Mm -hmm. I like this, with the sauce already on them. I bet you can get some on the side. Absolutely, huh? absolutely. We get a lot of requests for that. I bet. I'm going to put this right here in front of you. Mm -hmm. And oh, then we're just going to plate it. So we got a nice know, the bed down here. What a nice presentation this will be. I'm in for a treat today. This is going to be really good. Mm -hmm. I'm excited. I am too. Beautiful. Yeah, this looks like an entree as opposed to an appetizer. It certainly could be, couldn't it? And I'm just going to top this off with some green onions, give it a little more color real quick. Mm -hmm. there Beautiful. it is. Beautiful. That's our banging shrimp let's, appetizer. Let's put it up front. Our first dish from Redfish Bluefish. We've got lots more to come. We're going to take a commercial break right Great. here and start our second dish when we get back. Stay with us. Heat pumps don't pump much heat. In fact, heat from an efficient natural gas heater can be 30% warmer. And you can get up to an $800 rebate when you install one. Warming up to natural gas yet? Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Another popular dish at Redfish Bluefish is the Yum Fish Dinner. Mm -hmm. And it's super good, yummy. I bet. So we're going to have some fresh, or fresh spinach, some asparagus, a sun-dried basil tomato cream sauce. And it's just going to go so well together. Great. What so kind of fish are you serving today? Today I'm using mahi, you know, okay. some fresh mahi that I okay. filleted this morning. And I'm going to start with the cream sauce first. Okay. I mean, it's going to take a few minutes. Basil so. sun-dried? 
Sun-dried tomato. basil tomato cream sauce. Okay, that's a tongue twister. Yeah, it is definitely when you start saying it. We say cream sauce at work just to there you go. shorten it. <laughs> we don't need to be saying all that much. Everybody knows what it is. Huh? Absolutely. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to start the cream sauce. I got a little oil here. I'm just going to add it in the pan. Mm -hmm. A little minced garlic I did earlier. And I'm just going to toast that off real quick, get it a little bit brown. Okay. You know, I mentioned earlier, uh, Edwin, that, you know, you are on the beach, of Absolutely. course, on the sound. Yeah. And you have got the best backyard on the beach. I'd like to think so. You know, it's so unique. It's open. It's right on the water. Oh, you know, we got... It's beautiful. Fire pits that people love. Mm -hmm. You know, that's one of the more popular draws there. We got these two huge fire pits that fit, I think, eight to ten people around it. Yeah. And it's just cozy, you know. Come it with a couple is. friends, drink a couple drinks. Have yes. fun. And actually, it's uh, open dining, isn't it? It it's, is open It's dining. outdoor dining. It is outdoor dining. So it's unique in that mm -hmm. aspect itself. All right, so I got this garlic here toasting a little bit. Just going to add a little cream here. Is this heavy cream? This is heavy cream, yes. Okay. So we're just going to reduce this. So I'm going to turn that on a high now, get that going real mm -hmm. quick for us. Isn't cooking with natural gas wonderful? It's amazing, isn't it? You can just adjust that temperature in a instant. Absolutely. You know, I wish I had it at my house for sure. We have an all electric at my well, house. Well, I'll talk to you after the show. It's Maybe crazy. we can help you out. You know, we got the electric water heater and whatnot. Mm-hmm. And that's going to reduce? Yes, we're going to reduce that. We're going to add a little salt okay. and pepper. I'm going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to add a little fresh lemon juice and some basil. Mm-hmm. That so goes together I'm, quick, doesn't absolutely. it? So while I'm here, let me get some of this basil picked off real quick. Fresh basil. Absolutely. And you can see it's already starting to simmer a little bit there. Mm -hmm. So what, how do you know when it's at the right consistency? Um, if you put it on, dip a spoon in there. And it coats it. And it coats it, you know, that's the mm -hmm. best that's way That's the best it. way, huh? So I'm just going to chiffonade this real quick. And chiffonade means thin strips, doesn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. Perfect. Throw that in at the very end almost. Mm -hmm. That's usually when you should add fresh herbs, mm -hmm. right? So it doesn't brown, doesn't wilt too much. Mm -hmm. Add a little salt and pepper, season. And the sun dried tomatoes um, have a richer flavor, don't they? Absolutely. Than you know, they fresh spend tomatoes. most of their life outside drying, so mm -hmm. that's where they get the sun dried name from. Right. All right, what else we got going? It's reducing Absolutely. beautifully. I'm going to cut the ends off of this real quick. I'm going to leave the rubber bands on there. Personally, it makes it easier when you blanch it, so you don't got to pick really? one up at a time. You can just pick the whole bunch of it. Now, why have I never thought of that? It's clever. A good friend of mine taught me that. Chef tip. Another chef tip. Is there anything you can do with these, Edwin? Uh, yes, absolutely. You can make soup out of them. You know, I worked at a restaurant where we never threw the ends away. We had collect, you know, four to six quarts of them, put them in some stock, reduce, you know, get them soft and tender, puree. Make asparagus soup? Absolutely. Well, asparagus how about soup. that? So there's a lot of things you can do with it. Mm -hmm. Today we're not going to do much with it. I'm just going to throw it off here to the side. Okay. So many times we, you know, discard mm -hmm. uh, parts of food that can certainly be used and give other dishes Absolutely. a great flavor. So you're not wasting so much, you know, you right. utilize the whole mm -hmm. ingredient. And you chefs are pros at that, of course. Not throwing anything away that can be used again. So it's coming along just nicely. I'm going to mm -hmm. throw the asparagus that I just cut. Okay. Right to this water here. That's going to take, you know, a couple minutes. They're a little thicker. I'd say maybe mm -hmm. two to three minutes for that. I'll watch that as I'm going. Okay. And at the same time, doing all this, i got my pan here for the fish. Yeah. I'm going to give this That's a couple minutes to heat up real quick. Let's let everybody know where Redfish Bluefish is located on the beach. We're located right behind Tropical Waves. If mm -hmm. you guys remember where the observation wheel used to be, you know, yes. we're right there behind right. that spot there. Right. Right on the water. I mean, we have water views all around, really. No matter you where do. you sit in our restaurant, yeah. you can see water. So that's, that's right. really nice. It's outdoor dining. Now, we say outdoor dining, but some of it is covered. Absolutely. We got an indoor seat or mm -hmm. indoor covering. Mm -hmm. Right now, we're in the process of getting installed garage door flaps for when it does get cooler. Get cooler, mm -hmm. you know, the wind and mm -hmm. everything. 
You've got a new addition coming yeah. soon. Yeah, in the future, I think, in the next couple months, we're going to have an oyster bar. So we're not necessarily going to get rid of the gift shop, per se. We're just going to, you know, scoot it over and then install an oyster, uh, an oyster bar. bar. How have fun. some fresh shipped oysters. That'd be great. So it's another addition to Redfish so, Bluefish, huh? So we're getting there. I'd give this maybe another minute or two. I'd okay. turn it down to a simmer. So. so the next time you come, you'll be bringing some oysters with Absolutely. you, right? I'm going to work on my shucking skills then. <laughs> or I might have somebody else come do that for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so I got that going. I got the uh, asparagus in the water right now. Mm -hmm. My pan's almost hot enough for my Does fish. it take asparagus long to uh, blanch? Because no. blanch means really you cook very quickly. Really quickly. And if I was at work, we'd have uh, ice cold water to shock right. it so that they wouldn't overcook. It stops cooking. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So that's what you call shock it. But since mm -hmm. we're here and we're going to plate it all together, mm -hmm. I'm just going to throw it in the bowl, add some salt and pepper, and go about it. And you know, blanching really keeps vegetables nice and green, mm -hmm. doesn't it? Which crazy. Mm -hmm. So I got that going. I got my pan about ready here. I'm gonna grab my mahi. Now you can of course use any type of fish with this. Any type of fish. We do you do that at the restaurant? We Sometimes do. you use grouper. And grouper, mahi, it just depends on what I can get. Mm -hmm. And Whatever's you know, fresh. during the summer we're so busy and we're doing so much fish. I we bet just, you do. I'd hate to know how much fish you go through. I think this year we're two to three hundred pounds a day almost I think. And I had to sit there and cut it all myself with you some did? help with some friends, of course. Wow. Well, so. at least that makes it fresh. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so I got the fish, salt and pepper. You know, you just mm -hmm. want nice seasoning on that real quick. I'm just going to add it right to my pan here. And our cream sauce looks great. Yeah, that's coming along real well. Uh-huh. I can tell it's really reducing. So. My asparagus, it's getting there. Uh-huh. Little tip, if you look, you can kind of see it cooking as it goes Let's in. Let's show the camera. Turn it around Ooh, it for the camera. There we go. So that's what you're looking for. Yeah, you can tell. It's cooking a little bit. You'll see it uh -huh. So I'd say another minute maybe with these. Very good. Got my fish going. Nicely good. This goes together quickly, doesn't it? It does, When you have all your quickly. components ready. And so, mm -hmm. got my cream sauce coming along. I'm gonna Roll the lemon a little bit. That's just to get the juices flowing. All right. So when I cut it. Mm -hmm. You all are open seven days a week? Seven days a week, 11. Well, right now it's kind of odd because we're slow. Mm -hmm. So our closing time kind of varies. If we're busy, we stay open. But usually right now it's 11 to 8, okay. 11 to 9. Mm -hmm. And it just depends on business. Really. And I think sunsets are your most popular time Absolutely. in the summer, aren't they? It's, it's gorgeous out there. You if you haven't been there before, it. you know, check it out. Treat yourself. Yeah, please do. All right, mm -hmm. so I got the asparagus. That's ready. And that's why I left the rubber bands on so there I can grab go. them real quickly. Very easy. Put them right in that pan. A little salt and pepper real quick. Mm -hmm. You know, just to season it, of course. Mm -hmm. Fish is coming along well. Our sauce is almost ready, actually. So I'm going to add the chiffonade basil here. I'm going to add the sun-dried tomatoes that we have out here. And actually, I'm gonna coarse chop these real quick okay. so it's not such big pieces. This is really concentrated mm -hmm. taste, isn't it? That's good. With it dry. Add that. And that's about ready. I mean, mm -hmm. let that sit there for a few more minutes. And with our fish, we're just looking for a nice brown crust. You can kind of see mm -hmm. it forming a little bit. It's looking good. Yeah, here in a minute, I'll flip it. And then you're going to serve this with jasmine rice. Absolutely. So this is the most popular dish. Okay. I would say one of the more popular dishes mm -hmm. for sure. It's up there with tacos. We sell a lot, a lot of, of tacos. fish tacos. A I lot, did. a lot. They yeah. have really become popular now, haven't they? They absolutely have. So it's got a nice little color coming. Mm -hmm. that. Let that cook for a few more minutes. We'll plate okay. everything up. What goes on the bottom? Is so we're going to add a little fresh spinach? spinach right here. I rinsed it and cleaned it earlier to save uh -huh. time. Okay. And what we're going to do here, grab a little bit of spinach. Just going to kind of put it right here in the corner. It's almost got a little salad here, huh? Almost With a little bit. With your entree. Very good. So we're going to scoop some rice right on top of that, put the asparagus, fish, and then just ladle uh -huh. the sauce. So huh. it's real nice, colorful. Sounds great. Come along. And the jasmine rice is a nice addition. It's kind of got a little nutty flavor. Mm -hmm. It's really, really nice. And we you get your little carb in there, so it's a complete, complete entree. Okay, so I got the good. jasmine rice. Go ahead and start plating this up. 
take a scoop. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna kind of mount it up real quick. Take our asparagus here that we just blanched off. Mm -hmm. See how nice and green they are? Absolutely, it's gonna be wonderful. Okay. This is quite a dish, Edwin. Yeah, it's gonna be good, you know. The cream mm -hmm. sauce really sets it off. We're just gonna lay the, so label that right over the fish, add a little scallions for color, mm -hmm. and we'll call that a day. And I'd say we're ready to eat. Absolutely. So the fish is coming along real well here. Mm -hmm. Take it, put it right here. Take that cream sauce. Oh, this is probably the best part right here, huh? Mm -hmm. People love this. We're just gonna ladle that right over it. That. I can see why you call it yum fish dinner. This looks yummy. I'm just going to just dump the rest of it. On Go there. ahead. Be generous. <laughs> Beautiful. Add a little scallions here, just for some color. As if it needs anything As else. As if it needs more. All right, let's put that up next to our shrimp. So there's our appetizer and entree, and we've got a special dessert for you coming right up after these messages. Cooking with natural gas is more controlled than using an electric range. But more importantly, they're less expensive to operate. Don't get burned with electric. Learn more at PensacolaEnergy.com. Our dessert for you today is French toast flautas. Yes, that's a unique dish for sure. It's a play on French toast and a play yeah. on a Mexican dish so called flauta. So this could flauta. be a dessert or you could serve it for brunch. Absolutely, you can do, bun or do both. We don't offer mm -hmm. brunch ourselves right now, but mm -hmm. you know, if you want to do it at home, that's great. Perfect. So let's get started. So right here I have half and half uh, egg mix with heavy cream. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna add a little vanilla extract to that just for some flavor. Add a little bit of cinnamon. Oh, it's a lot of cinnamon, but it's okay. Mm -hmm. A little bit of honey, and I'm just gonna mix that up real quick. So the honey goes up. right in there, huh? Yeah, and at the same time we're doing that, I'm gonna add a little honey to my pot here. And pretty much I'm just gonna get it soft, is all I'm doing. Okay. So it's pliable. And you can hear it sizzling, which is perfect. Yes. This okay. is a unique dessert. I'm gonna add some clarified butter here. Uh-huh. And that's what's gonna make it the honey butter part. So that's just going to melt in. Mm -hmm. Whisk that around. And I'm just going to melt the butter. And it's not going to fully incorporate. I'm going to have to add a little heavy cream as a binder to bring it together. Okay. So get that melting. I'm going to mix up my French toast mix here. Mm -hmm. So you really just added cinnamon and vanilla to this, yeah, right? Yeah, so cinnamon and vanilla cin extract, seasoning? a little bit of honey. And honey. This is quite unique. It's definitely different. You know, mm -hmm. people love it. I bet. All right, great. So I got that mixed up. I'm gonna grab a little Texas toast. I'm gonna cut these into thirds. Okay. And I'm just gonna go ahead and dunk them right into that mixture there. Next, some flour tortillas. And that's what made. Tell us what flautas are. That's what it is. It's just a tightly rolled flour tortilla. Tortilla. You know, it can so be that's filled the flauta. with. Many, many things, you know, the possibilities mm -hmm. are endless mm -hmm. here. You can put chicken, shrimp, sure. fish, whatever you want. Be creative. So today we're going to just add a little French toast. Mm -hmm. my stuff around. So I'm just going to dunk that in. So you don't have to soak these overnight? No, this is just like real that. quick. You just want the flavor. Mm -hmm. Take that one. So one piece in each. What size are these tortillas? They're the small uh, ones. A little six inch. Okay. And I'm just going to roll them. I'm going to end up. And then just roll. And Edwin, you said that you usually freeze these. Yeah, we freeze them at work. You know, they stay together a little better when you yeah. fry them. If you do them fresh, you know, they're just gonna. You got open toothpick up. them, right? Yeah. Toothpick them up. <laughs> but that does make it nice because you can pull out as many as you want when Absolutely. you're ready for them, right? If they're frozen. Mm-hmm. Oh, broke that one. Quick dessert. And this is gonna be great with that. That honey butter, yes, it's oh, really nice. Oh wow. So that's what they will look like. We'll throw uh -huh. them into the freezer at work, okay. fry them up. 
You just happen to have some frozen bars too, so, don't you? If you can see here, you know, it's not really incorporated like you think a sauce would be. Oh yeah, it's just a thin honey. Yeah, isn't so it? With I'll add this heavy cream here, and that's going to bring it right together. Mm -hmm. I love the idea that you can freeze these and pull them out when you're ready. Mm -hmm. They're so convenient. Yeah. While you finish this, I'm going to give everyone our telephone number. If you would like written copies of today's recipes, you can call Pensacola Energy, 436-5050, or you can visit our website, www.coastalcooking.com. So here I just got my French toast in right now. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to brown them up real quick. And these will be ready less than a minute, probably. Okay. At the same time, take a strawberry, got my knife here. Just going to put some slices in them real quick. Nice little garnish. Mm -hmm. Just gonna fan them out. Mm -hmm. Quick little presentation. Beautiful. And right. our sauce looks so good. Yeah, that's gonna be really good. So these Very first nice. sauce are ready. I'm just gonna grab them, put them on this. Let them soak for a second. And you can smell the French toast in this already, you the sure cinnamon can. and the honey. You sure can. Just a different type presentation here. Mm -hmm. Let those let those drain for just a quick second. Mm -hmm. Just gonna pat them dry. And grab them. And let's uh, slice it at a bias. Oh, these get sliced. Mm -hmm. Finger foods you can share more that way. Sure. And you get to see the the uh, mm -hmm. French the toast inside actually there. inside. And so, as you can tell. Great. Grab them, and then we're just gonna plate them up. Such an unusual presentation for French toast. And, and then our sauce. Yeah, the sauce is going to be really good. Came together really nicely. Mm -hmm. And it's, very, it's quite thin, mm -hmm. but it's got a little bit of a... And if you let it sit out a little longer, it'll thicken up so it won't be so runny. Mm -hmm. It's just your choice, you know. And I'm just going to sprinkle that, drizzle it right on top. Edwin, this is... It's going to be really good. It's a good play on this. Right. Just like that. You have done such a great job. And a little powder Look sugar. Look at our three dishes from Just Redfish, Bluefish, here. Pensacola Beach. You've got a website. Yes, we do. It's uh, redfishbluefishpensacolabeach.com. You know, check us out. It's got some really good pictures on there. Absolutely. And you can uh, actually see your menu. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Check it out. And so... There we go. Our three dishes. There it is. French toast flottas. <laughs> From Chef Edwin Vega, Redfish Bluefish. This has been delightful. Yeah, it's been fun for sure. You have done such a great job, and thank you for sharing all of these special yeah. recipes thank with us. Thank you for having me. I look forward to coming back for sure. Absolutely, and you're going to do oysters, right? Absolutely. Okay, we look forward to that. I've got to practice on my skills a little bit. You do <laughs> that. You do that, and I'll wait till you're ready, okay? Great. All right, thank you very much, and we thank you for joining us. We hope you join us next week for more Coastal Cooking. This has been Coastal Cooking with your host, Carmela Campbell. Coastal Cooking is brought to you by Pensacola Energy, clean, efficient, natural gas. Join us each Sunday at 6 p.m. for more Coastal Cooking.